ABC7 presents the 2024 Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. to our live broadcast of the 69th Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade here in the heart of Chicago along our beautiful Grand Park. What a gorgeous day we are having. Yes. It has been said that nobody does St. Patrick's Day quite like Chicago. Over the next two hours, let us show you why that is. I am ABC7 News anchor Judy Sue along with our meteorologist Larry Mowry. Larry, just one layer under That's the coat it. today. That's a hero <laughs> of the day right here, folks. Yeah, what a beautiful day. Temperatures are in the 50s. It's a little little breezy but oh my this is gorgeous oh, weather yeah. and the crowd really has shown up today and we've got Karen Ryan with us as well who produced a, a really great documentary about this parade it's great to have you back Karen well thanks this is the third year so thanks for having me back and Larry I love you I don't have to wear my that's hat right. this year <laughs> Lay it, down. You don't need it, today. it is gorgeous out here today that's for sure <laughs> All right, so our ABC7 colleague, Liz Nagy, is also joining us once again this year. Hi, Liz. Thanks, Liz. Hi, Judy. Hi, Larry. Hi, Karen. We are out here along Columbus Drive where the parade will be making its way toward us. And I have to say, Larry, you predicted well. You said, <laughs> I, I uh, traded my hat for a St. Patrick's Day ponytail because you said it was going to be a little windy this year. But the crowd has shown up. I think this is the, the biggest crowd I've seen in the few years that I've been out here along the parade route. People aren't very bundled up. We've got a lot of festivities. The music is going we're going to have a great time. We're going to be talking to some of the, the Grand Marshal of the parade, of course, the St. Patrick's Day Queen, and all of the people who are lined up here along Columbus Drive here to celebrate St. Patrick's Day in Chicago. Say hello, everybody. All right, so here we are. We're going to have a great time. If you have any questions for people in the crowd, send them my way. We'll send it back to you guys in the booth. We'll be out here for the next two hours. All right. We were just commenting that if you look at the crowd and we can see up and down yeah. Columbus Drive here, it is literally like 20 deep on each side of the street. It's incredible how many people are down here today. I'll be curious to learn at the end of the parade right. what's the estimate because we can get up to a million people here oh, celebrating so this. great. They and are three deep right there. It's incredible. And, and earlier this morning, one of the greatest Chicago traditions happened, as always, here on the day of the St. Patrick's Day Parade, the dying of the river. Let's show you some video of that from earlier today because it's always a beautiful sight to see and the crowds lining up on Wacker Drive and on the other side of the river watching the uh, crews out there dying the river green. It is an iconic sight here in Chicago and that was streamed live when that was happening. So for more than 40 years the Chicago journeymen plumbers have poured their secret formula into the river. So a man named Stephen Bailey is credited with starting that tradition. It was originally used to detect leaks, right Karen? You know, the dye is actually orange, and when it gets um, uh, stirred around, that's when it turns green, and that's how they figured out that that was the emerald green that they were going to put in the river. And it sticks around for several days, so if you weren't down here today to see it, the next couple of days, it still looks a little green for several days after today. Everybody always asks, is it environmentally friendly? Yes, it is. And I have to add, other cities have tried to imitate this and sort of find what that secret formula is while well, that formula remains secret. I don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll never know it, but it's such a great tradition here in Chicago. And the crowds this morning were out and about watching the, uh, the river get dyed, and now they're all joining us for the parade, which is going to kick off in just a few moments. But, you know, this is the 69th year wow, yeah. for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And the plumbers put it on, Local 130. That's right. This parade on. And Jim Coyne, who's our dear friend, has uh, an introduction for us as we get Get ready to start the parade. Jim? Hello, I'm Jim Coyne, business manager for Plumbers Local 130 and general chairman of the Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. Plumbers Local 130 is proud to once again sponsor the 69th annual Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. Our parade is recognized globally, and this is because here in Chicago, we take our iconic parade to new heights each year including the popular, environmentally safe dying of Chicago River, that beautiful green. We welcome everyone to our great city for this long-standing Irish tradition. 
And our love to the chairman. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that they have done for this parade. So every year, a young woman with Irish heritage is crowned the queen of the parade. And you will get to meet Grace O'Connor later in the broadcast. Now, on Wednesday, I joined the former queens that were all having a nice lunch, and these girls are a sorority. And one of them was Mary Malloy. She was a 1962 queen, and she still comes back to this luncheon. This year's parade, and every year has a theme for the yeah. parade. This year's theme is mental health is essential, yeah. and so it's a, a great theme, and it's so fitting that the parade's grand marshal is Peter O'Brien Sr., a national advocate for mental health. And the guest of honor today is Patrick Kennedy, who's working towards lasting changes in health care, with health care rather, with regards to mental health. So Patrick Kennedy from the Kennedy family yes. is here with us yes. today. And, and they're doing, you a, doing a lot of work of for, yeah, parade, they're yeah. doing a lot of work for mental health. Yeah, very important message for us today is the parade, and we're going to take a short break because coming up, the parade's going to start. Yes. For a parade. <laughs> it's a beautiful day here in Chicago. Come back and join us in just a few moments, and the parade will step off, and we'll bring you all the highlights. Of the St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Chicago. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm Peter O'Brien, honored to be the 2024 Grand Marshal of Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. The theme in 2024 is mental health is essential. One in five Illinoisans live with mental illness. Let's stop out stigma and insist our mental health is essential. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm Patrick Kennedy, former congressman and founder of the Kennedy Forum. I'm delighted to congratulate my friend Peter O'Brien on his role as Grand Marshal of this year's parade. Our theme is mental health is essential because across Illinois, too many people have to fight for the mental health care that they deserve. Let's work together to demonstrate mental health is essential. The 2024 Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Auto insurance rates got your budget upside down? Call Insure on the spot and we'll turn it around. And saves you money, too. Get a free quote in just two minutes and drive away with insurance guaranteed. Call Chicagoland's number one auto insurance agency today at 773-202-5060 or visit insureonthespot.com. That old AC has got to go. Oh, it's gone all right. Ready to replace your old AC? Help is just around the corner. Call ABC now and purchase a new AC and get your furnace free. That's right, free. ABC's knowledgeable professionals will be there to install your new system as soon as today. This buy one, get one free offer is only available for a limited time, so call today. Trust ABC Plumbing, Sewer, Heating, Cooling, and Electric and consider it done. So we're a really busy family of six and moving into a new house and Empire made it really easy. They brought samples to our house, quality products, and installation on our show. And we're really happy with everything. 800-588-2300 Empire. Today. This is internet that's not just fast. This is twice as fast, fast. Like, hold on to your eyeballs fast. For the same great price, only $20 a month for 12 months. The fastest ever. Fast at the speed of last minute recipes, series finales, teenage gossip, and destroying these guys. For the win. Plus, get $100 back, but only for a limited time. So act fast. Do it all, all at once. Fast. This is your invitation to experience a feeling of found in a Lexus SUV. Experience the versatility of the Lexus line of SUVs and some of the best offers of the year on select models. 
at the invitation to Lexus sales event. Get special offers on the 2024 RX 350 Premium All-Wheel Drive. everybody to our live broadcast of the 69th Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade along Chicago's iconic Grand Park. It is a beautiful afternoon. <laughs> Look at those crowds. <laughs> and we are now going to get ready for the official kickoff of this parade. I know we have the Shannon Rovers getting ready yeah, for us, they're right? right over our shoulder coming up the drive right now. And you can see they're going to get up towards the uh, grandstand in just a second. You know, showing pictures of the crowd. I was out in the crowd a little bit uh, before the parade started. There's people from Nebraska, from Washington, all the way from Florida. People are visiting the city to be part of this tradition here in Chicago. And the, it just keeps getting deeper and deeper. It I does. think we're four or five deep now, and everybody is so happy. And Carol, we have folks coming in from Ireland for this, yeah. right? Oh, absolutely. Oh absolutely. Look, I got uh, this, come from, this came from Ireland. It's a little bit of a, a, a special thing. Ooh. Yeah. I'm looking yeah. for a four-leaf clover. <laughs> yes, <there>. exactly. <laughs> well, we need to look for some left Leprechauns. There you go. <laughs> I, I think I might have seen some right? leprechauns out there. Yeah. <laughs> do, do they come from? Um, you know, the, I spent this whole week uh, getting ready for the parade. I was doing a lot of things here. Shannon Rovers, at every event you go, they march you in. Yeah. And, it, and, and you know what? When I go home, I'm like, where are my Shannon Rovers? You know, nobody's <laughs> marching march me in. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Such a great group. Yeah. <laughs> and the yeah. sound is unmistakable. Yes. I can hear, even though we have these, uh, you know, headphones on our heads, I can hear the sound of the Shannon Rovers. And there you are, a live picture as we get ready to officially kick off this parade. And Larry's going to tell us more about the Rovers. Yes, uh, the Plumbers Local 130. Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. They've been marching for 69 years here with the parade. Their bagpipes and drums. I tell you, that's my favorite part of the parade is when they kick it off, Karen, and they march up the street, get everybody excited for the beginning of the parade. Such a wonderful tradition. It's funny because what they told me is somebody calls out and the right foot hits the ground and then they're off. And yeah, yes, yeah. it's just great. They've got 100 members, too. Yeah. And a lot of them are uh, multiple generations, so which is so nice. Uh, you know, they keep the, the tradition going. And you guys, I did try to blow into a bagpipe <laughs> once. You? I think I shared this before. It is not easy. I mean, it is really, really hard. Have to put some air I to it. nearly passed out, and I'm not <laughs> kidding. Um, so for them to be able to do that, play that beautiful sound, and march all the way down the parade, and do it over and over again during this big St. Patrick's Day weekend, yeah. right? I mean. This is not their only event. No, just beautiful. And I think this year, uh, by the way, I believe the final count was 110 floats. Wow. So I'm not sure because, of the, you know, occasionally somebody has to drop out, but I think it's somewhere about 110 floats. Big so, parade this yeah, year. Yeah, a lot, a yes. lot of bands. That's, yes. that's so much fun. And I love the, the dress that they, they adorn when they do the, the, uh, the Shannon Rose. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You guys will pause for a second here and let you listen to the Shannon. Us and streaming us from wherever you are. Shannon Rover, 
first. And there, right there, you see our front line of dignitaries marching by following our Shannon Rovers here. It wouldn't we, be a parade without the politicians. Oh, my gosh. Yes, they are right there. A beautiful view of them. We'll go through some of the some of the folks who are joining us, see if you can spot them in that line. Cook County Treasurer Maria Pappas, Metro Metropolitan Water Reclamation District Commissioner Mariana Sparopoulos. We have our U.S. Senator Dick Durbin joining us, St. Patrick's Day Parade Chaplain Father Tom Hurley, our Illinois Senate President Don Harmon, City of Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson. And the 2024 Guest of Honor Patrick Kennedy and Amy Kennedy, the Director of Marketing Michelle Skasha Coyne, the Parade General Chairman Jim Coyne, the 2024 Grand Marshal Peter O'Brien and Mimi O'Brien. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker is in the crowd as well, and Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton is here as well. Illinois Secretary of State Alexis Juli Julianis. Illinois Comptroller Susan Mendoza, Mayor of County of Cork. Franco Flynn is here as well. Irish Delegation Heather Humphreys, Irish Consulate Kevin Byrne, Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle, and Illinois State Treasurer Michael Frerichs all joining us today for our parade. Wow, we have the marching band coming by already. We did see, I believe, the O'Brien and Kennedy families marching by here just a second ago following that front line. And Karen can tell us a little bit more about them. Yeah, the Grand Marshal is Peter O'Brien, and he's walking with Mimi, his wife, what a lovely couple. He's president and CEO of um, Meadow Management, becoming the Grand Marshal for the 69th Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. Parade is a great honor and a childhood dream. I saw him this week, and he was just thrilled. He was enjoying every moment of it. And here are the Hubbard High School JROTC marchers. They're celebrating their 45th anniversary at Hubbard High School JR JROTC program. It was founded in 1979 and is ranked in the top 15% of the seven over seven. 1700 ROTC programs worldwide. You see they're marching down the, the street here. Nice to see them. They came about every year for us. I've seen them before in the past. The JROTC Drum and Bugle Corps is under the direction of Sergeant First Class Glenn Jackson, and the Hubbard Drum Line is under the direction of Mr. Brian Espinoza. They're known through the, for their enthusiasm and rhythm, and thank you for joining us today on the parade. Yeah, absolutely. One of many marching bands that will be in this parade here today coming down the parade route. Following this band, you will see our what we call the front line again coming down, and that's following all our VIPs and dignitaries uh, on this beautiful afternoon along Columbus Drive. Lake, look at that view, you guys. The heart of Chicago's Grand Park. We love it. Today is just beautiful with the temperatures. And the Knights of Columbus are walking down the uh, parade route right now as well. It's a male Catholic fraternal organization that participates in charitable events for families, church, and military service personnel in our country. Organized way back in 1882 by Irish American Catholic priest Father Michael McGivney. While we wait for this next one to come, we uh, need to mention the, the parade guest of honor, which is uh, uh, Patrick Kennedy from the Kennedy Forum. And he has been devoting his life uh, to bringing uh, parity to mental health and substance use of, uh, treatment. So the Kennedy Forum is committed to creating an equitable health system for people in, in Illinois. Yes, and that is the theme of this year's parade. Um, and thank you so much for the entire team that put all of this together for you coming down the parade route this afternoon. Again, that was the Knights of Columbus that we saw just marching by here. And this is the 484th Army Band as well. This 46-member group has delighted audiences in Germany, Romania, Belgium, Holland, Alaska, Florida, Georgia, New York, South Dakota, Scott wow. Moore, Texas, Virginia, <laughs> as well as the home states of Wisconsin and Illinois. All of that since 1943. The 484th Army Band is composed of Army Reserve musicians who provide entertainment for civic and military cer ceremonies, parades, and concerts. Their mission is to provide world-class music performances throughout a spectrum of operations while serving our nation and the U.S. Army community. And thank you for your service. They sound great this morning. And now we got some beautiful cars <laughs> coming down the yes, road. Exactly. Wow. Mercedes-Benz of Chicago. Hello there. Happy St. Patrick's Day from them. So Mercedes-Benz of Chicago has been a part 
of the Chicago community for 21 years now. And this is their eighth year sponsoring the Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. They are a recipient of the Best of the Best Award from Mercedes-Benz USA, which is presented only to the top 15% of dealers in the nation. She's got the best seat in the house right there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Who Waving doesn't like a the good Mercedes-Benz? I have a friend. That's his list. Mercedes-Benz. That's it. <laughs> And today is one of those days you can put the top down. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Roll down the sunroof. Yep. Wave out the windows. It is really a beautiful afternoon. It is. A little breezy, but we are enjoying the sunshine and these mild temperatures. After such a mild winter, it's been a, a great day to have a nice day for the parade as well. And Karen, Larry, you guys were with us for the, you know, the last couple years. It was <laughs> cold. Very cold. Oh, here comes oh, our queen. Oh, here's our queen. Larry, tell us about our queen. This is Grace O'Connor, our queen this year, our 2024 St. Patrick's Day Parade queen. Grace is a lifelong Chicagoan, has always admired the queens that came before her. She was thrilled when she learned she was chosen to be queen this year. Grace, a Chicago native, received her B.A. in economics from Northwestern University, her J.D. and M.B.A. from Loyola University, Chicago. She now works as a corporate attorney, and Grace is honored to represent the Plumbers Local 130 and the Parade Committee in the 69th Annual Parade. What a wonderful girl. She really is, and so sweet, and that, you know, her court also is so great. Uh, she has a, a variety of girls in her, her court. Megan Cahill, Courtney Caddy, Mary Finnegan, Kathleen Sullivan, and Kara Walsh. And you had and the opportunity also, to spend some time with them. Yes, I did. I, and, you know, they're, they're all beautiful, but they also have, they all have CPAs in accounting and they're lawyers. And last night I was talking to Kara Walsh, and I want to give a shout out to her mom, Mary Beth, who's battling some cancer right now, but Kara says she's winning the battle. So, you know, uh, Mary Beth, your daughter is wonderful and beautiful, and she's so proud of you. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Prayers and positive thoughts. And for so many of them, this is such a family tradition, right, to be a part of this parade, to be a part of the, the court. Just beautiful. All right, so next we have the Crestview High School Big Red Machine Marching Band. Larry's going to tell us more about them. Yeah, Crestview High School Band from Florida in the Panhandle of Florida. The Big Red Machine is here with us celebrating its 85th year. This musical powerhouse stands as one of the oldest high school bands in the southeastern United States. Comprising 280-plus talented members, the band has graced stages from across the nation. They've had trips to Hawaii to perform on the U.S. Missouri and Pearl Harbor to the Tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena and even the iconic Indianapolis 500. They're going to do a little performance for us, I think. Let's listen in. Crestview High School Woo! Marching Band, the Big Red Machine. They sound amazing. We had our phones up we recording did. that moment uh, for social media. That is awesome. The Big Red Machine Band. You guys sound Look at their terrific. uniforms. They're great. And ha halftime shows that the bands produce, the, the work they put into those and the marching they have to do, it's a, it's a huge commitment that, they, that these young men and women do, and they do such a great job in performing. Absolutely, and a shout-out to all of their family members. Yes. There's so much support for all of our kids to participate in something like this. You guys look fantastic. As the crowd gets thicker, keep your eye out for leprechauns for me, will you? <laughs> right. Are you keeping track of how many leprechauns we see? I, you know, <laughs> I haven't seen one leprechaun just yet, oh. but I am looking. I love it. I'm sure there's I some mischievous it. people out there that are pretending to be I know there's one in the parade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
here's the Navy Band Great Lakes. Oh, yeah, that is. All right, pride and service has been the theme for Navy Band Great Lakes for more than a century. From 1911, when the band first formed, to 1917, when Lieutenant Commander John Philip Sousa served as bandmaster, to today's director, Lieutenant Christopher Cornett, their music represents the pride and professionalism that is synonymous with the United States Navy. Also, as the Navy's ambassadors to the Midwest, Navy Band Great Lakes performs for millions every year. They provide musical support for communities of all sizes, as well as supporting Navy recruiting in 11 state area of responsibility stretching from Michigan all the way to North Dakota. The Navy Band Great Lakes, everybody. a tradition that we've seen here in Chicago for many years is the Navy Band Great Lakes as they've parade, uh, performed in several parades over the years. And here comes... Oh, what do we have now? Five this, Farms Fresh Irish. Five Farms Irish Cream. It's the world's first farm-to-table Irish cream liqueur. Crafted from single batches of fresh cream, they're combined with premium Irish whiskey. Of course you need Irish whiskey in your cream with 48 hours of collection to become authentic Irish cream liqueur. The cream is sourced entirely from five farms owned in Cork County, run by families that have a deep connection, and they want to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. You have that uh, five farms, you will be wishing everybody a happy. <laughs> Look right, here. We so, know these people. <laughs> yeah, check them out. Yes, yeah, some familiar faces. Our colleagues at ABC7 Chicago, WLS-TV officially launched in 1967. We have been involved with this parade since 1968 and broadcasting it since 1983. <laughs> There's Mark Rivera and Heisel Martinez. The jewels of Chicago. <laughs> our our Liz Nagy is down there. I love the energy here. So much green everywhere. It's just so fun. It's the best. It's such a best thing. And you know what? The river dying green. Tens of thousands, close to a million people out here. I mean, it can't get any better than that. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Here you go, Liz. All right. They did my job for me. Judy, I think you and Heisel are matching. You got the same leprechaun going on there. Oh, here we go. We have a mayor Kawash and Ruby Baseball. Hey, Ruby, happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Beautiful day out here. What a day here. Gorgeous. It, you know, it's just been an incredible winter and spring's coming, and this is what it's all about. Liz, unbelievable to see you. Ruby, what does it look like a little farther down the parade? Route? It is totally packed. It is completely, everyone is so juiced by this weather <laughs> and what the spring is uh, portends, and that's what St. Patrick's Day is all about here. So great to be here. Great to be in what it feels like Christmas in Chicago. All right. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Some of our ABC7 colleagues enjoying this beautiful weather in the back of a convertible. You can see there are thousands of people lining Columbus Drive here. We're going to send it back to you guys in the booth. We have much more to talk about, but I have to tell you guys, the crowd is really getting thick on both sides of Columbus Drive here. And Judy and Karen, I just have to add to what Liz is saying, too, because Tracy Butler is down, down on the parade route, and Heisel Martinez is there as well, and I'm in the booth, so we have three meteorologists here at the parade. Oh, wow. Guaranteeing you nice weather on a day like today. You, you guys pulled it out, that's for sure. We're looking at the Irish Fellowship Club of Chicago right now. They have supported Chicago's civic, cultural, and educational community for more than 122 years. Uh, James Coyne of the Plumbers, he has become the president this year of this. I don't know how he does it all, but uh, this uh, the club was originally formed to promote the image of the Irish immigrant in Chicago, and it's evolved into a significant charitable organization. Throughout its history, the club has provided important networking opportunities for Chicago's business community with its annual events. Great group. All right, we're going to take a short break here at the 69th Annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. We'll be back in just a moment. Country Financial is proud to sponsor the 69th Annual Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade and celebrate with our partners from the Chicago Plumbers Union Local 130. At Country Financial, we're committed to providing Chicagoland with planning and protection services so you can relax and enjoy more of the best moments in life. On behalf of Country Financial, happy St. Patrick's Day. William Blair is proud to support the Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade as we work to improve mental health this year. 
Mental health is an issue that affects us all. We salute the hard work of the organizers and all the partners of the St. Patrick's Day Parade to shine a light on this issue and work towards a brighter future for all of us. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Chicago. U.S. Waterproofing has built a reputation for providing exceptional service and peace of mind. Because when we're called to fix a basement water problem, we get it fixed right. And we'll treat your home with the same care and attention we'd give our own. U.S. Waterproofing. A better basement starts with us. Auto insurance rates got your budget upside down? Call Insure on the spot and we'll turn it around. And save you money, too. Get a free quote in just two minutes with Insure on the spot. We are the choir of man. Join us for the choir of man. Limited engagement begins March 27th at the Apollo Theater. Tickets at choirofmanchicago.com. American mattress. Get your best night's sleep and huge savings on the Property Brothers Scott Living Mattress Collection by Drew and Jonathan. Right now, get a king for a queen price or a queen for a twin. When it comes to a good night's sleep, trust our friends at American Mattress. Yeah, that's right. They have a terrific selection of Scott Living Mattresses, and they can't wait to find one that's perfect for you. So start dreaming big tonight. Shop the Property Brothers Scott Living Mattress Collection at American Mattress, the name you've trusted for over 35 years. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Wow. Yeah. What do we, Steve? Winners. I love you. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry. Visit Toyota.com to learn more. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back, everybody. Our two-hour live broadcast of the 69th Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade is just getting started. We just saw this record go by. They serve more than 600 children and adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Always a big part of this parade. Right now, we're going to go back down to the parade route and check in once again with our Liz Nagy. Liz. Judy, the dignitaries that made their way by us earlier today have, co have come back to talk to us. Tell us a little bit about the meaning of the parade. First of all, Jim Coyne with the parade. Jim, this is your big event every year. How does it feel? It's beautiful out here. It's kind of perfect today, Liz. We've got We've got a great crowd. We've got over 100 marching units, a lot of union support here. So it's just a great day for Chicago. Everybody's Irish today. It makes a big difference when the sun is out, the music's playing. There's some really good energy out the here. The energy is phenomenal. You're right. It's warm. It feels good. I'm too warm right now with this jacket on, and it's just great to be here. And we have some very special dignitaries with us today. The Grand Marshal of this parade, Peter O'Brien. Peter, how are you feeling today? Oh, I'm feeling wonderful today. A grand day. We are all Irish today. You are Irish every day. Why does it feel so special to be Irish today? Because it's a community that comes together for great support of each other, and especially this parade to the tribute of the parade committee is about mental health is essential so that we treat all our, our brain and mental health issues like we treat everything else. And that's to the wonderful efforts of the Kennedy Forum led by former Congressman Patrick Kennedy. And, and that is why the former Congressman is here with us today. Mental health is essential is the theme of this parade. This is very good for everybody's mental health out here today. The joy and fellowship that the Irish have that we need to extend to those most marginalized, those who are living on the streets, those who are suffering from addiction, and those who tra tra tragically have taken their lives and they're left their families, we need to let them know that they are not forgotten, that we wrap our arms around them. That's how we do it. In our faith and in the celebration is we hold close to those that are all amongst us, our brothers and sisters. And what a wonderful forum to be able to elevate that message today with thousands of people out here lining Columbus Drive in Chicago. Amen. I mean, this is about inclusion. And 
land. This is what the Irish, the tradition is inclusion, and we used to be the outcasts. Now we're the ones, we have to leave the ladder down for others that are new immigrants, because that's the tradition of the Irish. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for all the work you do. Thank you for making this day so special. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. Judy, Larry, Karen, back to you guys up in the booth. All right, so nice. I'm, I'm waving at her crowd over here Jordan. and also at Liz. <laughs> Uh, yeah, welcome back to our broadcast booth here. Uh, I'm Judy Sue, along with Larry Mowry and, of course, Karen Ryan with us, uh, hosting your parade here for the next two hours. We are just getting started. We just heard the theme of this year's parade, and we, of course, talked about the gorgeous day and the immense crowd here. Yeah, it just keeps growing. And it's nice to see familiar faces in the crowd, too. Those two gentlemen I remember for the past couple of years right next yes. to us here in the, in the booth watching the parade as well. We had the sprinkler fitters at Local 281 walk by as Liz was talking to the dignitaries. They've been around since 1901 protecting property and doing some great work here in Chicago. And, of course, unions are a big part of this parade. Oh, absolutely, yes. We've got the Emerald Society of Illinois coming up next down the parade route, I believe, and we're taking some shots to the crowd. And we were talking about this crowd size. And just the past, I mean, we started here at 12 o'clock right at the top of the hour. I think we've added probably several thousand more people <laughs> in just the past 30 minutes. And even, even Larry, when you and I were driving in this morning, I mean, we got a much earlier start, you know, to get in, to get ready. The expressways were pretty crowded already. It was pretty rough. <laughs> Worse than rush hour. Let's go back down to Liz on, this, on the on the, on the uh, You guys keep right mentioning the crowd has really grown, and it certainly has, but people up here in the front row have been out here for hours waiting for this parade. They've really been enjoying it as it's gone by. We talk about how people come from all over the country to be here for this parade. I found somebody standing here in the crowd who, where are you here from? Switzerland. Did you come just for this? Mm, yes, a bit. Yeah, yeah. I came here for the biggest conventions of the balloon industry. And after I keep some date for myself to be here with you and to have a joyeux Saint Patrick. We love it. Have you ever been part of a St. Patrick's Day celebration before? Never, never. It's my first time all around the world. I came here. And somebody told me it's the best. That's it, why I'm here. Do you think it's the best? Does it live up? I don't know. It's the best. You'll yeah, never definitely. celebrate St. Patrick's it's Day awesome. anywhere else. Amazing. I love it. What are you loving so much? What's your favorite um, part so far? The good ambience. The people are so friendly. And I'm looking forward for tonight to have the biggest party ever. There you go. Chicago Thank does you. it best. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here to enjoy the parade. You heard it all the way from Switzerland, but there are families <laughs> lined along this route. This is a tradition every year for many families who come out here year after year after year. Hey, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We're going to find some more people in the crowd here and find some more interesting stories for you. But you can see this crowd goes all the way back deep into Grant Park. We've got some great outfits out here today. I think the sun is really drawing out the energy from everybody, Judy and Larry. All right, Liz, thank you. And right now we want to introduce you to the Emerald Society of Illinois. Take a look at them. Listen to their sounds. The Emerald Society of Illinois is made up of almost 700 law enforcement officers from local, county, state, and federal agencies. They were founded in 1975, and their mission is to promote Irish culture through various social events. The bagpipes and drums of the Emerald Society Chicago Police Department was formed in 1983. The band performs at funerals of first responders who die in the line of duty. Also, of course, numerous benefits and parades every year at this moment. Just a big shout out to all of our first responders here in the city, in the county, in the state for doing what they do every single day to protect us. Absolutely. Listen to the welcome they're getting as they go by. So, really important. And a shout out to all the first responders who are out here today helping us with the parade route, keeping everybody safe on, it, on today. I also want to mem mention that every Novem November they actually have a full turkey dinner uh, where they award 10 $500 scholarships to members' children and also their grandchildren. These scholarships are made possible with the financial assistance from three major contributors. They do so much for the families of our first responders. We've got Local 17 heat and frost insulators uh, coming, another union here. We don't need the frost insulators <laughs> right now. Conserving <laughs> no, energy, don't. reducing the carbon footprint. It's Local 17. They're celebrating their 125th anniversary this year. So they have been the original green energy specialist in Northeast Illinois and in Northwest Indiana since 1899. 
The combination of on-the-job training, classroom instruction creates well-trained and professional journeymen each year. And the business manager there is Tom McGrath, and Jim McManus is the secretary treasurer. That's quite a float they have coming down the parade route. Looks like a gecko on a fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's being lit by a fire. Oh, I thought it was a leprechaun. Oh, it could have been oh. a leprechaun. You're right. It might have been a leprechaun. You never know. There might be a few right here in the crowd. Oh, walking, walking I, I by. keep looking. <laughs> it's so nice to see the families walking Oh, wait, together. Larry, look oh, what's oh, coming. Look what's coming. Thing. Oh, yep. favorite. It, it is the Soul Harbor Ranch Animal Therapy Program. When I was on the streets when, where Liz is down there, I had one of those dogs come up and give me a nice little lick <laughs> on the cheek. And there's the pony as well. But yeah, it's more there's than dogs. Horses. They have little boots on and mini donkeys and a therapy cat. But I wonder if they have any uh, goats with pajamas. <laughs> oh, Liz is down there. Oh, she's getting a little pet. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> now, their registered pet partners team visit hospitals, nursing homes, schools, and whoever is in need of healing love of an animal. All right, and don't we know? Yeah, maybe we can listen to Liz and the interview. Let's see. Hospitals, nursing homes, hospice, schools, libraries. Um, they go all over. Okay, they so you take these ponies to, to, to help patients who, who need a little therapy yes, then. got it. And this is part of the, the theme of the parade, mental health is essential. What does Grace do for people's mental health? Well, we share, uncon our sharing of unconditional love is what SOUL stands for. So that's what we bring back to our community. Well, I can certainly <laughs> understand how she would admit unconditional love. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you and Grace. Thank you so much. Very gentle. I love that. Soul stands for sharing of unconditional love. Thank you, Liz. I'm oh, who do we have here? It's oh, the it's the former queens. queens. It's the former queens. Yeah, Karen, tell us about them. Yeah, they, uh, the former queens float is sponsored by Farm Owned Prairie Farms Dairy. And look at these former queens. They just, it is a sorority. It basically is. And now the, the farm owned Prairie Farms Dairy as a nationally recognized leader in the dairy industry. Prairie Farms is known for milk flavored innovations and producing award winning cheeses, ice cream and cultured dairy products. So. And this whole week is filled with things that the former queens, former participants in the parade get to participate in and have such a wonderful week leading up to the parade. Oh, absolutely. And they, it, it's still exciting for them no matter how often they do it. And Karen, during their reign, they also do so much for the community, right? They give back, they host a lot of functions. Right. They even do a, uh, they, they shoot the puck at one of the, uh, uh, at one of the games. Black Hawk. And I ran into the queen that actually got it in the goal. All <laughs> right. That's her claim to fame. Way to go. <laughs> All right, you're looking at some of the former queens and, and their the, family coming down. Yeah, here are the Flood Brothers Disposal and Recycling Group. Chicago's only family-owned and operated Irish solid waste company, Flood Brothers Disposal and Recycling, is a family tradition that was started more than 90 years ago. They are proud to service more than 200 communities through a 100-mile span of the Chicagoland area. They have a trade that is a service to all of us. This year, the Flood family celebrates the man who started it all, Joe Flood. He took a one-truck operation and laid the groundwork for the rest of the Flood Brothers family. Three decades after he left them too soon, they stand on the shoulders of him. Well, they have a beautiful ride there. All right, thanks to them. We're going to head back down to Liz once again. Hi, Liz. Hey, Judy. We are having a blast down here, but really there is a lot of history steeped in this parade, the 69th year that we've been out here celebrating the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And then there's a long partnership that dates back between Cook County and County Cork. This is Franco Flynn, the mayor of County Cork. Welcome. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you most sincerely. I'm absolutely delighted to be here today as mayor of Cork County Council. A wonderful occasion. We are, we've heard for many years about the parade, but it ex exceeds all expectations. We have an agreement for the past 25 years with Cook County. And that's a, an agreement that's just been renewed. And just the other day, last Wednesday, we were there again for the signing with Cook County. And we're going to, so successful as the 25 years been, we're going to extend for at least another 25. Wonderful. We love it. Tell us about the significance of that partnership and what the, the relationship is between County Cork and Cook County. The relationship between Cork County and Ireland, but especially Cork County, is very strong because uh, with many, many people who come from this area, they have business in Cork County. We have uh, many, many companies here who are um, opened up their office in Cork County. We also, only last year, we started the working holiday visa. 
with uh, Cook County. And we, we've extended that, and we're going to roll it out uh, while it was in the hospitality, the hotels area, it was much, very much involved last year. We've started another 10 this year, but we're also going to extend that to other professions, and it's so successful has it been. This is a 12-month holiday visa for people to exchange that can come to County Cork and work and use the working holiday visa and the experience. But also, as far as tourism is concerned, the most Americans, especially from Chicago and Cook County, who come to our beautiful county of Cork. Beautiful scenery, beautiful uh, friendship and hospitality, which they will not recognize or experience anywhere else in the world. It is a beautiful place. So this is a partnership that runs very, very deep. Oh, now talk to us about the significance of Chicago celebration. You could be home celebrating in Cork County, but you are here in Chicago. It's the first year ever I'm missing my local parade in Fumai and Mitchellstown. Uh, I was attended for the last 25 years, but this has exceeded all expectations. I have a delegation here from Cork County of about 11, and they're absolutely overawed by the experience and how, and how well we in Cork County and the enjoyment that we've got here. And I've no doubt that the relationship and friendship that we've just signed is going to be a tremendous success. And the working holiday, we are, especially. We are thrilled that you are here to celebrate that St. Patrick's Day with us, Mayor Franco Flynn from Court County. Thank you so much for Thank being here. Indeed. Happy St. Patrick's Great Day pleasure. to you. And the same too. And happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone at home in County Cork and also here in Chicago and Cook County. All right. Thank, Thank you, you. Judy and Larry. We love that, Liz. Thank you so much. Right now, you're looking at the Iron Workers Union. Local 63 coming by the grandstand behind many of Chicago's iconic buildings stand the Iron Workers Union Local 63 as the only architectural and ornamental Iron Workers Union in the Midwest region. Their specialty is curtain wall glass installation, miscellaneous metals and ornamental and temporary fencing. All right, you guys, thanks for joining us. And I love the detailed work on their float. You know, people spend a lot of time putting the pomp on those floats. Well, if you've ever uh, seen them in action, I say they've got nerves of steel. Well, <laughs> love it. They are way up on the top of the yes, building it hanging is true. off. And I have met a lot of uh, women that have gotten into the steel workers as well. So there's a lot of women getting into the trades nowadays. That is tremendous. We do want to encourage our kids to get into the trades, you know, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And here's the Gilmore High School Marching Band from Illijay, Georgia. They've been throwing audiences for many years and joining us in the parade today. We welcome them here to Chicago. The band has won numerous grand championships and marching competitions throughout the Southeast. Let's listen to the play a little bit. Day Parade in Dublin, Ireland, but they are here joining us right here in Chicago. I hear a train behind us. <laughs> it's the CN Railroad train and their little Obi float. Wow, they're rocking. They're, they're rocking. Yeah, look at them, yeah. <laughs> it's a little Obi is the, uh, the scale model of a CN locomotive, which comes with a flat car and a caboose. Little Obi helps educate people about the dangers of playing near the railroad tracks. So always practice safety when around those railroad tracks. That is such a cool little 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 Obi right there. I know. Check out all the details. The crowd is kind of jumping and tapping their feet a little bit here. Right in the locomotive. Right behind them is Monster Energy and they Monster Energy drinks. I spent a little time with them to celebrate the launch of the Java Monster's new Irish cream flavor. Monster Energy joined in the fun at this year's parade, helping dye the river and sending the beautiful Monster Girls and one scary leprechaun. There is my Ooh, leprechaun. Okay. We 
were trying to name that leprechaun, and nobody came up with a good name for it, but uh, they are throwing out cans of monster. I guess they're passing them. You don't want to throw them any Yeah, place. probably not. Huh? <laughs> How are you guys doing energy-wise? You got a good energy right now still? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's their new, their, their new Irish cream. And, how to celebrate it, but the Chicago St. Patrick's Day well, Parade. Well, maybe they Take need to drop here. off a few cans <laughs> over here. That would be nice. All yeah. right. I tell you, the energy in the city today is just fantastic. It's one of those days where everyone is excited to be downtown. I love the crowd, you guys. It is such a tradition here in Chicago. It is just iconic. I know we say that for St. Patrick's Day, everybody is feeling just a little bit Irish, and it is so true. We see so many people here from all of the communities here in Chicago coming down on Columbus Drive here in our beautiful, iconic Grant Park area watching this parade. Again, it usually draws certainly hundreds of thousands of people today. <laughs> with the, Oh, my gosh, we they brought one. us a monster drink. Um, <laughs> but today, with the weather being so great, we're really looking at upwards of a million people, you guys, visiting Chicago. Liz just dropped one off here in the booth. The, uh, Liz, we love you. Java Monster. <laughs> Java Monster. So this is Chicago Gaelic Park that you're seeing there coming down the parade route. Chicago Gaelic Park is an Irish athletic and cultural center dedicated to fulfilling its mission statement to perpetuate and promote Irish culture through sports, music, dance, theater, and religion. The GAA grounds are among the best in North America and are home to many teams and supporters while their function rooms serve local community groups and organizations. Sheet metal workers, uh, Union Local 73, has coming up, and they were first established in 1892. And they're the people that keep you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. So I guess they brought a little warmth for us today. <laughs> well, I right? love that. The president and business manager, Ray Suggs, leads more than trained 4,200 members, providing ex expertise to all of the Cook and Lake counties. Oh, Liz has got, Liz is playing the sport down there. Liz, oh. what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> is that hurling? No, no. no. What's the name escapes me? Woo! I remember from last year. Woo! Oh. <laughs> and Liz is doing that all mic'd up. You know, she's got her headset on and she's got her microphone pack. Way to go, Liz. And she's doing it in heels. That's right. <laughs> you know, this first parade started in 1956. Can you imagine? That 1956, we're talking, I think they said something like only 11 bands playing in that parade, 29 floats, only about 100,000 spectators back in 1956. And Karen, you mentioned earlier, we have more than 100 entrants now this year. Yep. And I was also told when they first started dying the river, there were very few people watching it. Wow. You know? And can you imagine now? I mean, look at all the people. <laughs> and I bet a lot of people didn't know what was going on and saw the river green and were thinking to themselves. Yeah, there's uh -oh. something going on. Right, yeah. <laughs> and for those of you who may have missed that story from the very beginning, that, that dye, when it goes into the river, is really orange. Karen was telling us about that. Um, it looks a bit strange when you first see it. And then it turns into this right. literal emerald green. Plumber, the plumbers used it to find a leak in the pipes and so they would put the orange and if it turned green and then one plumber saw uh, the business manager and he was friends with uh, Mayor Daly and they were working on the parade and he said I want to die of the river green just like in Ireland. So. Wow. And that's that, how it all started. And that green is sparkling. <laughs> if you have ever have a chance to come downtown today, tomorrow, the next couple of days to take a look at it. It is so striking on the river to see it that color of green with all the buildings. Yeah. In the distance. It's so beautiful. I think the plumbers once went to Ireland to help them dye uh, a, a river green there. But, but still holding on to their secret. Holding on to their secret. <laughs> exactly. Let's head down to Liz right now. Liz? Larry, Judy, I am in the presence of royalty. St. Patrick's Day royalty. This is Grace O'Connor. She is the St. Patrick's Day Parade Queen this year. Grace, we are so honored to be here with you. Congratulations Thank on being this. Thank you so much, Liz. So this has been a tradition for you since you were a baby, since before you can remember. Yes, I've been in the parade every year of my life, so that's all 25 years of it. And I've looked up to Queen since I was a little baby in a stroller along the parade route, so it feels real full circle. So now that it is you wearing the crown, what does that feel like? It feels amazing. It's really fantastic to share it with my family and share my love of the Irish heritage with the entire city. And since you've been coming here since you were in a stroller, what was it like to ride down this parade route, draped in the in the sash and the crown? 
But you can feel the energy here. I mean, luckily we have a really lovely day with the weather, so we have thousands and thousands of people out here today. It's really palpable throughout the entire city. The energy from the Green River transfers over here down Columbus, and it's really the best day of the year. And you guys do such important work as the queens of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Uh, Karen has been mentioning all morning, it's sort of like a sorority, some of the women who've come before you. I really look up to the queens, the former queens that come before me. They are a sorority to me now. They welcome me with open arms. Their dedication to the city of Chicago and their love for their heritage inspires everyone, even the little girls like me. And you are doing all of this while keeping a job as a new lawyer, so you have a lot on your plate. Grace, thank you so much for being out here with us today. Congratulations and happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you so much, Liz. Thank you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Congratulations to our queen. It's fantastic. Thank you, Liz. This is the Fox High School Marching Warriors from Arnold, Missouri, a suburb of St. Louis and Jefferson County. Let's take a listen. dancing was founded by Geraldine Foy and has taught hundreds of Irish dancers the love of this special art form for more than 40 years. Wow, they are wishing all of us a happy St. Patrick's Day from the Foy School of Irish Dancing. Let's watch for a minute. Wonderful to see you today. All right, we're going to take a short break here. The St. Patrick's Day Parade will continue right after this. Happy St. Patrick's Day. My name is Jeffrey Price with CN Railroad. CN is proud to be sponsoring and participating in the 69th annual Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. At CN, giving back is not just a slogan, it's our way of doing business. CN is proud to be your neighbor in the Chicagoland area and be part of Chicago's amazing railroad history. At CN, rail safety is a shared responsibility. Never play or walk on railroad tracks and never drive around a lowered crossing gate. Together, we can make a difference as a community and be rail smart around trains and railroad tracks. Like it was crafted by a master carpenter. And it's just $9.99 every day. Every day? Every day. But not every day. Every day. Noise. When the looks you love go for less, there's only one thing to say. Oh my Bob! Bob's Discount Furniture. Morikawa on 18, he is really boxed in here. Not a good spot. The Comcast business fan. Into the vending area. Oh, not the prize. Where's the ball? Anybody see it? Oh, wait, there it is. Back into play and... Oh, no, it's in the water. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? you got to be kidding me. Rolling towards the cup, and it's in the hole. What an impossible shot. Brought to you by Comcast Business. Get beautiful new floors with Luna's 70% off sale. That's carpet, laminate, and even hardwood, 70% off. Reserve your free in-home appointment at Luna.com or call 773-202-LUNA. sound. 
to enhance all your high notes. Feel infinitely you in the 2024 QX80 with Infinity Premium Care included. Only at your Infinity Retailer. Every day, we rebuild hearts and put them to the test. We remove brain tumors and find answers. But what we do every day might be one of the biggest things you've ever faced. So here, you won't face it alone. You'll be treated like the most important patient we've ever Introducing Endeavor Health. Welcome back to ABC 7's presentation of the 2024 Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. Welcome back, everybody. We are live on ABC 7, and wherever you are streaming us with Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade, really one of the most iconic and celebrated events here in Chicago. Great day for a parade. The sun is shining. The crowd is huge temperatures what in the 50s, in the 50s. Wow. sunshine it's beautiful and you were just looking at the girl scouts too <laughs> are enjoying this nice weather as well big turnout for the girl scouts who are out here joining us for today's parade as well and i have to ask you too what's your favorite girl scout cookie oh thin mints. thin mints thin mints i'm a tag along guy <laughs> tag along is good too oh, I love the peanut butter and chocolate so good the girl scouts were founded in 1912 march 12th 1912 uh, they are part of the parade festivities today. For more than 112 years, they've been a great organization. Well, hopefully you all had a chance to grab your Girl Scout cookies. I know they had some new flavors this year as well. Always a good job when you see them at their little booths. And we had a couple of cold days, and they were still out there selling them. Learning those sales skills right there, yes. <laughs> but you know, the Girl Scouts are more than just cookies, aren't they? Absolutely. They, they, they are, they're groundbreaking big thinkers role models it's a great organization well really i mean we're talking about selling the cookies but it's really entrepreneurship you know Absolutely. everything they're learning everything um, about what it takes to run a little business and it does it teaches them so many great values and here is the hamburg athletic association it's an organization based in bridgeport here in chicago they have participated in the st patrick's day parade since the day it began 69 years ago they're a charitable organization that helps support local schools, church groups, and fundraising organizations in the 11th Ward and the entire Bridgeport community. They're also a family-based group and will be celebrating their 120th anniversary this year. Wow. Hamburg Athletic Association. And all of these groups, um, community groups, and our local unions, and uh, our floats and marching bands, they had to line up quite early, you guys, um, to get ready for this parade. So by the time you see them, they have been here for hours. So way to go, guys. And it takes a long time to get down the parade yeah. route, too. All the people are walking and marching along. It's a, it's a, it's a hike down the parade route. But they're having fun, you can yeah. tell. Yeah. It is one of the longer parades here in Chicago that we host, that's for sure. Uh, so it's a long ways for them to come down and say hello to everybody and wish all of you a very happy St. Patrick's Day. And here is the Lansing High School Marching Band, more than 100 strong, the Lansing High School Marching Lions. It's a 150-member ensemble from Lansing, Kansas. The band performs regionally and nationally and consistently receives high ratings at marching festivals. They've been to the Alamo Bowl, Disney World, and other locations throughout the country performing. Let's take a listen. instruments no but if i had I to i took okay if i had to it'd be saxophone okay <laughs> i took piano lessons and violin lessons and i kind of skipped around and drove my mom crazy yeah. <laughs> my mom tried to teach me piano and playing the organ as well i wasn't that great at no. it yeah. <laughs> so now we'll just listen to the other band members right. right we're looking at ges now it's a prominent global trade show and exhibit company renowned for orchestrating top tier conventions events worldwide they service locations nationwide in europe canada and more beyond their commitment to event excellence ges proudly champions mental health awareness the theme of this parade love that mm -hmm. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get the crowd going. So many families here, too. I see parents with strollers bringing their babies to the parade. We see some grandparents here as well. It is really a generational kind of family event, uh, St. Patrick's Day here in Chicago, that it has become this iconic parade. And look at all of those families celebrating on that float right there. And you know, the one thing I'm noticing this year compared to the past couple of years is usually by this point in the parade, the crowds thin out because it's cold, especially the past couple of years. It's just getting bigger. The crowds are so is growing here along the parade route and it's just a, a an amazing atmosphere down here in Grant Park. I see some people shedding their coats. Oh my gosh, <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, so this is the Irish American Heritage Center marching by. The Irish American Heritage Center float is built and manned by volunteers who contribute so much to the center and to the Irish community. This organization has been a long time participant in the St. Patrick's Day parade Aww. and the younger generation <laughs> joining in as well. We love it. So the center celebrates Irish and Irish American culture through events, music, theater, literature, and language. Happy St. Patrick's Day from the Irish American Heritage Center. Don't you remember when your kids were that young too, Judy? Oh my, my, my girls are that young. Yes. It's so fun. It's a fun age. We're looking at the Irish Community Services. It's a proud to have served the Midwest for 25 years as a not-for-profit immigration and social services provider. Uh, there's another little cute baby. They work for a connected, vibrant, and caring Irish community. The Chicago Celts for Immigration Reform is an organization that advocates for immigrant-friendly policies and changes in legislation that respect the nation's rich immigration history, and it certainly is in Chicago. And I love the signs they're holding up, too. Let's talk about mental health. Mental health is essential, is again the theme of the parade, and so it's a great message that the parade route is sending to everybody out there today as well. I know Jim Coyne, every time he has a, a union meeting at the end, he said he's tired of going to funerals, and yeah. so we need to start talking about it. I say it is a perfect theme uh, uh, this year, and Karen, I do want to ask you, because you do deal with, uh, speak with the coins quite a bit, but the, the planning of this parade. Uh, <laughs> You know, we're watching it right now. This is the end product, right? How long does this planning take? Uh, they start right away. I mean, I think <laughs> Michelle uh, uh, takes a week off, and then it starts again. Wow. And I, I can't imagine it. I mean, there is a team of people, but, you know, she really does a lot of, uh, of, of everything in the parade. So. Kudos to them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't keep up with them. <laughs> Karen, I spotted another leprechaun. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, oh finally. On top of the Iron Workers <laughs> Local 1. Floor. Love it. <laughs> the Iron Workers oh. Local One is located here in Chicago and it was chartered in 1896. The proud members of Local One have contributed to the growth of Chicagoland for more than 100 years. Local One members have been a part of building the bridges to connect our roads, the buildings to make up our skyline, and a vast number of schools, universities, venues, stadiums, hospitals, and amusement parks, and the list just keeps going and going. Local One is a mixed local, which means they perform many types of work. Members of Iron Workers Local One are highly skilled and motivated craftsmen serving many types of contractors in the iron working industry. Good turnout for them today. Yeah. It's nice to see them again they this look year. Happy. Yeah. We're all happy today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. And then following them, we gotta talk about this, Karen. Uh, the O'Brien's restaurant group and the O'Brien family. Yeah, he's 2024's uh, Grand Marshal and is the second generation of his dad was a Grand Marshal as well. Only the second uh, father-son Grand Marshal. And it's such an honor. This man is the nicest man. Going. <laughs> and he knows everybody, his wife Mimi, his daughters, his grandchildren. Do you think he's having fun? I can't oh, tell. Yes. I mean, I can't yeah. tell. <laughs> <laughs> and he is a real supporter of mental health is essential. Uh, that's why he wanted Patrick Kennedy and his wife Amy. And Patrick Kennedy has the Kennedy Forum. It was launched in October 2013 on the 50th anniversary of President John F. Kennedy's signing of the landmark Community Mental Health of 1963. So that was his choice to bring uh, uh, the Kennedys in, and it was a good choice. 
And I know they have spent the last few days also all around the city sort of spreading that message of our theme this year about taking care of your mental health. So they really do a lot leading up as we were talking about the planning of this parade takes really almost the entire year. So it's not just today. They have spent the last few days, a couple weekends, really trying to spread the message of mental health health, which is this year's theme and also the spirit of celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Peter told me when he got the phone call from Jim Coyne, uh, he had to take a moment. It's that phone call that says, how would you like to be our Grand Marshal? And I've talked to past Grand Marshals, and they all just, you know, tears come to their eyes. It wow. is a big, big honor. Such a special. Well, congratulations to Peter. Yeah, yes, absolutely. congratulations. They had uh, several trolleys for the O'Brien's yeah. restaurant yeah. group there. That's great. I have to tell you a quick personal story. Oh, we yeah. were talking to uh, the, the Grace, the new queen, and uh, the coin's grandson, Joshua, I asked him if he would be my date over the weekend, and he turned me down. He said, no, I want the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Denied. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and Grace was so fabulous. Yeah, wonderful. that interview that Liz just did. So congratu congratulations okay, to her. Here is the Plumbers Local 130. There it is, the 69th Annual Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade, sponsored by the Plumbers. And they have been doing this for seven decades. So James Coyne, he's the parade chairman as well as the business manager. And I have to tell you, I happen to love the plumbers. Yay! Yeah, we do too. Yeah. We do too. Yes. Yes. Six thousand members, and they cover seventeen counties in northern Illinois and northwest Indiana. They offer top-notch training at their state-of-the-art training centers, and they have solar water heating, wet labs. And here's the best thing: they have eight. This is Jim started this eight state-of-the-art union wellness centers. And plumbers can go to the wellness center. They do not have to pay anything for their health care. And that, you know, where do you find that? That is amazing, yes. I saw the queen was in the... the yeah, the, yeah, they were just waving well. at all of yeah, us. And her court as well were right there joining the Plumbers 130. They just have, you know, so many different programs for high school kids because the trades, you know, they're, they're giving kids options today to work in the trades or go to college. So it, it is a it is a great uh, organization. And There's a lot of opportunity in the trades business right yes, now. Yes, absolutely. You always have a job. Yes. And hey, always when you do job. have an emergency at home, when that plumber <laughs> oh, shows yes. up, you know, in the middle of the night or, you know, when you have a holiday family dinner and something happens, you're like, thank goodness you're here. So. Yes, shout out to all of them. Thank you. <laughs> and behind them are the retirees from the Plumbers Local 130 as well. They're going to be in the trolleys following the uh, the Plumbers Union as well. Look at the families. It's such a family tradition to walk in the parade, be part of the, the Local 130 and all the other different unions. It's a family affair. Well, a lot of... Uh, <laughs> Groups. There's Mr. Coyne right now. I'm looking at him in Hello, front of Mr. me. Hello, Mr. Coyne. Hey, Michelle and the family. I love it. <laughs> I know, I know you all on, on TV right now cannot see who we're waving at, right. but yes, they just, the family just walked by and we talked so much about the coins and the, the hard work that they put into, so we just have to give them another big shout out for <laughs> doing such a fantastic job pulling all of this together, hosting a million of their best friends here <laughs> on really Columbus nice. Drive. It does feel like a million people down here today, too. Yeah. It's so fantastic to see. Oh, there's a party. <laughs> well, a lot of the plumbers, you know, the, well, here's something the queens always say. Once a parade queen, always a parade queen. I think that's the same thing with the, the plumbers. Once a plumber, always a plumber. Nobody can take that skill away from you. And I wonder how many of those little young faces we see right there will be looking up to Grace, the reigning queen, oh, and not thinking... That one. One day. <laughs> that one's sleeping. <laughs> and thinking maybe one day I'd like to do that too. Uh. All right, I'm just going to take a moment and thank all the parents who did all that to bring the babies in a stroller, dress them up, bring the snacks, make sure they have their naps in to come and enjoy this parade. A shout out to all the moms and dads. Early start for a lot of people, but we're having so much fun here during the parade. Here are the retirees, the Plumbers Local 130 There's retirees. There's a lot of them. <laughs> we got several trolleys lined up here. And, you know, 
like you were talking about, Karen, they take such great care of their members. Yes, Retired, absolutely. current members, doesn't matter. They take such wonderful they care of them. They get great wages. Uh, well, you know, by the time I'm done, Larry, you're going to want to be a plumber. Give, <laughs> give up this job. Maybe. Okay. They have great wages. They have free health care. They have pensions. And where else can you get that? So true. Oh, look what I see behind the trolleys. Oh, what you do you see? <laughs> oh, I, oh, I know what I know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, right, so you get to see that. Yeah. Yes. The Oscar Mayer Wiener reveal. <laughs> yeah, we have to tell you what's coming, but we'll get to that in a yes. minute. That, of course, is iconic as well. Yes, we're going <laughs> to wave to the retirees in the meantime, and our crowd enjoying that as well. I love it. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Okay, here All we right. go. The Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Invented by Carl Meyer in 1936. Get this, guys. It's 60 hot dogs long. Ooh. It's about 27 okay. feet all right. and 24 hot dogs high, which is about 11 feet. Have you been inside at all? I, I have not. I, I heard not it's either. decorated with, like, ketchup seats and mustard seats. <laughs> now, the Coins' grandsons are in there, Henry and Joshua, oh, really? with their mom, Rebecca. Aww. And I, I asked them, are they going to be driving it? And they said yes, and Rebecca said no. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that would be a great job because they, there's six uh, Wienermobile vehicles in the country, and they go across the they go across the country, and uh, recent college graduates they're called hot doggers. I That's remember right. seeing the application for this when I graduated <laughs> yes, college. Yes. You see it too? You, wait, you thought about doing uh, it? Well, I, for a brief <laughs> second, uh, then I realized I was a meteorology major. <laughs> I wanted to get into the business, and so yeah. But I remember the application for that was, you know, are you interesting interested in hot dogs? Dogs and <laughs> what do you know about hot dogs? And you just have to be fun. And right? have a great time, yeah. But that would have been a great treat. Okay. That's we're right. looking at Country Financial right now, and they are big sponsors of this parade. As part of this year's parade, Country Financial has five trolleys with more than 150 special guests, and they're all here to attend the festivities. Country Financial is a leading provider of insurance and financial products and services here in Illinois. Let's just watch as their trolleys come. They serve about a million households and businesses throughout the United States, offering a wide range of insurance and financial products and services, including auto, home, life, farm, fixed annuities. They have representatives in Chicago and throughout the state. They've been an active supporter of the parade for many years, including the dying of the river. Next year, they'll be celebrating their 100th anniversary. You know what I've noticed on a lot of these things? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I, uh, th that a lot of these organizations are 100 years old, 125 yes. years old. Yes, and it's wonderful to see Country Financial with us today as well. We're going to take a short break and continue with the Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade right after this. Financial is proud to sponsor the 69th annual Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade and support Chicago Plumbers Union Local 130. Our history and our commitment to Chicago goes back nearly a hundred years and we take pride in that history and in making sure that our Chicagoland clients are prepared for their future. On behalf of Country Financial, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day from Aer Lingus. As Ireland's flag carrier, Aer Lingus has been serving the Chicago community for over 50 years, and we are delighted to connect our friends on both sides of the Atlantic. Visit AerLingus.com for great deals on travel to the Emerald Isle. And once again, La Fela Fadric Shona Diev. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day from all of us at Flexera, a fast-growing technology company headquartered right here in Chicagoland. Be part of this world-famous parade and celebration. Of course, the Gypsy Terrain offers all-wheel drive mode. What about Supernova mode or Weekend Warrior mode? You don't see that everyday mode. How about out of the office mode? Or even... Are you out of your mind? Mode. Want a mode for everything? GMC Terrain. 
at 0.9% APR plus 1500 purchase cash on 2024 GMC terrain models. We are professional grade GMC. APR for 60 months on a new 2024 RAV4 or need a new RAV4 for $329 a month. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. And welcome back, everybody, as our live ABC7 coverage of Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade continues here. Gorgeous day here along Columbus Drive in Grant Park. We're talking thousands of marchers, upwards of a million people here watching this parade. Just a fantastic day to celebrate this tradition in Chicago. Beautiful weather today, and the O'Connor family is joining us right now, and Grace O'Connor is our queen this yes. year. She's the daughter of Dan and Meredith O'Connor. This year marks the 63rd year the O'Connor family has participated in the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Chicago, an honor and tradition they're proud to be part of. Isn't that nice they've been in the parade? I mean, Grace has been watching this parade since she was a little girl. Yeah. And Patrick O'Connor served as the Grand Marshal in 2018. And now she's our queen for the day. It's Absolutely. That's a great story. So many connections here with the parade and the participants over the years. Nice to see the O'Connor family. And here are the Trinity Irish Dance Group. They've been most recognized, most widely recognized Irish dance program in the world for more than 40 years, setting numerous competitive records and thrilling audiences world worldwide with their innovative approach. The unique program is held together by its powerful philosophy of empowerment that teaches students life lessons both on and off the dance floor. Trinity elevates children, the community, and the world through the power and grace of Irish dance. They have off, they offer classes in Chicago, Palatine, Western Springs, and their home studio in Elmhurst, where they continue their balanced approach of teaching Irish dance, emphasizing performance, solo, and team dancing. Let's watch. Oh, here we go. Again, we're going to take a look at them. Look at them go. It's so fun to watch them. You just want to get out there and dance with them as well. <laughs> see if you can do the toes. moves. Yes. Larry, we'd like to see that. Oh, uh, you don't want to see that. <laughs> and no. I'm sure it's not easy either. No, huh? definitely not. There's the Trinity Booster Club as well, part of the Trinity Dancers as well. Trinity Irish Dance. 
Yeah, it takes a lot of support behind behind yeah. the Irish dancers. Moms and dads running kids to practices and rehearsals. Oh, we know what that's like. We know all about that. <laughs> yeah. It's a fun time. Yes, yes, always busy weekends between all of the kids' activities. But we love it. Hello there. Happy St. Patty's Day, you guys. Actually, I was looking at the dancers and the hair you know, blowing in the wind. It is, it is a windy it's day just, today. You know, fortunately, that wind's out of the southwest and not off the cold lake that's just about 100 yards to our right here because uh, the water temperatures are still in the 40s. So Ooh, if we got that wind okay. off the lake, it'd be yeah. sharply colder. But southwest wind feels good right now. All right, so now we have our 42nd Ward Alderman, Brendan Riley, coming down the parade route. Alderman Riley has served as a member of the Chicago City Council since 2007 and represents downtown's 42nd Ward, Chicago Central Business District. It is home to 80,000 residents and more than 10,000 business licenses. So the Alderman says his goal is to work in partnership with downtown residents, businesses, and civic groups to collect build a stronger Chicago. The alderman walking with his supporters right there. It's so fun to see everybody dressed in green and different outfits of green and hats and scarves and gloves. You really don't need many gloves today. But no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the crowd. They have, you know, special eyeglasses and everybody has a green shirt on, hats, you name it. We've seen it. It's so fun to walk into the stores leading up to the St. Patrick's Day Parade, too, around the city, because everybody's got Irish stuff for sale and green green clothes and everything for the, uh, for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And this is a special group coming up next. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day welcomes the cast of Choir of Men and direct from London West End. In fact, they just came in yesterday. I know that the Choir of Men celebrates music mates. Oh, wait, we better listen to them. Okay. Chicago for years. We value the relationship and unwavering commitment of the plumbers and sponsors of the parade. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois is guided by a long-term vision to create better health. Today is a day to focus on your mental well-being. Enjoy friends and families while loving St. Patrick's Day. Thank you, Plumbers 130. Shoreline Sightseeing is proud to join Plumbers Local 130 as a sponsor of the Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. Explore Chicago on Shoreline's award-winning architecture tour. You can find our daily schedule at shorelinesightseeing.com. This is internet that's not just fast. This is twice as fast, fast. Like, hold on to your eyeballs fast. For the same great price, only $20 a month for 12 months. The fastest ever. Fast at the speed of last minute recipes, series finales, teenage gossip, and destroying these guys. For the win. 
Plus, get $100 back, but only for a limited time. So act fast. Do it all, all at once. Fast. Feeling bullied by your bank? You know there's a fee. That loan application looks complicated. <laughs> Any help? Not really a math guy. I hope you enjoyed our new hold music. Last question, what high school did you go to? Lincoln South. Dude, we totally crushed you guys. At Wintrust, we take a different approach. Whether it's banking solutions, a new home, or financial planning, our local experts are ready to help. Wintrust, different approach, better results. What are you? With Empire's low price guarantee, you'll get quality carpet, hardwood, and laminate at a great price. We'll beat any competitive offer guaranteed. Schedule now. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE Today. Auto insurance rates got your budget upside down? Call Insure on the spot and we'll turn it around. And save you money, too. Get a free quote in just two minutes with Insure on the spot. Let's play Dare to Compare! My signature hybrid mattress versus this leading brand name hybrid mattress. Both combine types of memory foam with inner spring coils. But my signature is just $9.99. Theirs is a whopping $21.99. My signature with the Power Bob Elite base still costs less than that. Sure, they're not exactly the same, but is theirs worth so much more? When the looks you love go for less, there's only one thing to say. Oh, my Bob! Bob's Discount Furniture. right here of Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. This parade started at noon and it is still going strong down Columbus Drive here in the heart of Chicago's Grand Park. Over 100 entries in this year's parade marching their way down Columbus Drive and this is the Galena High School Marching Band from Galena, Illinois. They're the premier band of the Galena School District and pride of the town. The band has participated in the Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. Forget this, Judy and Karen. 50 years wow. they've been participating in the parade. And the kids are very excited to be here again this year. It's great to see them as always. They were playing uh, Shipping Up to Boston and then Old Galena High is a song near and dear to their heart. All right, Galena, love it. Now we have the Chicago Federation of Labor. The Federation of Labor is the umbrella organization for Chicago and Cook County's labor unions. From airline pilots to zookeepers, the Chicago Federation of Labor's 300 affiliated unions, and there are half a million members represent a diverse group of working men and women throughout the area. One of the first battles back in the 1880s was for an eight-hour workday, so we can thank them yes, for that to you. replace the 10 to 12 sh hour shifts to allow workers more rest and to provide more jobs to the unemployed. Together, they defend the middle class of hardworking women and men, pursue aggressive legislative and political strategies, and help working people remain a highly skilled, sought-after workforce in a moving economy. And now, Go ahead, Judy. And now we have IBEW Local 196, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 196, proudly representing more than 1,400 members dedicated to constructing power lines, installing street lighting, and managing underground utility installations. All such important work around here. So thank you to IBEW Local 196. Especially when we have those storms and the power goes out. Thank you for what you do, yes. And here are our Brother Rice, Mother Macaulay marching band. The Brother Rice and Mother Macaulay band retains one of the finest instrumental music programs among Catholic schools in the Chicagoland area. It is made up of students from both the Southside iconic hallmarks of Brother Rice and Mother Macaulay High Schools. The program has a long history of outstanding performance and community support. They travel around the world to perform as well. They've been in Ireland, Hawaii, Disney World, Los Angeles, San Antonio, D.C., and Nashville. Let's take a listen.
love a good drum line. <laughs> Were either of you in a marching band in high school? No. Nope. I was the captain of our palms team, so okay. we did march with the marching band. <laughs> Didn't get to play an instrument, but it is so much fun. I did choir, and I would just mouth the words in the choir stand, I'm not a very good singer. Same with me, Larry. In fact, a teacher told me to mouth the words. <laughs> oh, no. Shoulders Fund. For almost 40 years, Big Shoulders Fund has supported students and families in under-resourced Catholic schools throughout Chicago. Today, Big Shoulders Fund supports 92 schools, and get this, 25,000 children in wow. Chicago and Northwest Indiana through scholarships and enrichment. Marching in the parade today are some of the Big Shoulders Fund's prestigious Gallagher Scholars. Congratulations to them. I love that name, Big Shoulders, because we all stand on the shoulders of those that have come before us. Absolutely. Very true. Yeah. Happy St. Patty's Day. Oh, Aww. look at you. Walking all the way down. Very proud of you guys. All the little ones. That's the way to travel a parade right there. <laughs> yeah. The stroller. Many of the different schools you can see represented there in this group as well. It's nice to see that. Again, look at that, you guys. Very few coats. Um, you know, some light jackets here on St. Patrick's Day. We always say March can be very fickle here in Chicago. Um, we have seen some That's really, a nice really way to put it, Judy. <laughs> quickly. Yeah, that's a nice way to put it. Right? It's yeah. very polite. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. It can go either way here in March, that's for sure. After such a warm winter, though, it's been nice to have a nice day today for uh, for the parade. All right, Karen, who do we have here? We have Stars and Stripes silk screening and embroidery, which is interesting. Uh, they uh, are from Bridgeview, Illinois, and they're here to today to enjoy their Irish heritage and the day with family and friends. Stars and Stripes started back in 1997 to disrupt the market and offer affordable silk screen and embroidery services. As a proud union shop, they achieve a high level of quality and craftsmanship and from t-shirts to wristbands to lanyards to stress balls stars and stripes can do it all you always wonder where that comes from looky there oh it's southpaw Hi, no is it a leprechaun no it's not a leprechaun <laughs> it's our white Sox mascot southpaw coming down behind the bagpipers as well okay so get this Judy yeah. karen this is kind of hard to believe because in 12 days is opening day for the white Sox. i know can you imagine that well Days. March wow. 28th, they take on the Detroit Tigers. I hope the weather is as nice as it is today. I hope so, too. <laughs> I remember a couple of years it snowed on opening day for yeah. both the Cubs and the White Sox. That's a cold opening day. Yeah, we certainly have. It seems too fast, doesn't it? But I know. <laughs> we gotta gotta hope for some good baseball this year with the White Sox and the Cubs this year as well. Oh, yes. All right, Southpaw, you go. Way on top of that float, firing up the crowd. All He's right. always doing a great job. Yeah. Way to go. Love you. Good to see Southpaw. All right, we're going to take a short break here at the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Come back with us in just a few moments. The ladies have been doing a lot of talking recently. She looks great. What they don't know is I got Inspire, a sleep apnea treatment that works inside my body. I feel refreshed because I'm not struggling with CPAP anymore. 100 bucks, she got work done. Great sleep at the click of a button. Did she get implants? Yeah, I got an implant, Sheila. Relax, it's Inspire. Inspire, sleep apnea innovation. Learn more and view important safety information at inspiresleep.com. APR plus $27.50 purchase allowance on this 2023 Buick Envision. Plus current eligible non-GM owners get an additional $7.50 allowance. But wait, there's more. More, 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 and more. More. There's always more at Speedway. Mayor Johnson.
Nielsen wants you to vote for his big new tax. Now's a good time to ask, is Chicago on the right track? How's the mayor doing on crime? Do you feel safe? Happy with how the mayor's handling the migrant crisis? Now he wants a big new tax he calls the mansion tax, but it's really not. It hurts renters and means higher taxes for homeowners. Trust Mayor Johnson with more taxes? Just vote no. A performance that truly matters. This is what you've been waiting for. Coming to Chicagoland, March 7th through April 14th. Buy tickets now at Genuine.com. Chicago always an iconic sight and there you are we are still going strong the crowd is still here it's great to see 20 deep on each side yeah, I would yeah, estimate wow. there's not a crowd here and we're estimating potentially up to a million people in downtown Chicago for today's parade so coming down the parade route right now you see the nursing home for boys and girls rich in Irish history mercy home for boys and girls has remained a solution for children in crisis right here in Chicago for 137 years they do so much for our community you guys they were founded by Irish American Catholic priests back in 1887 Mercy Home has been a port in the storm, as they say, for thousands of children in need. And every year around St. Patrick's Day, Mercy Home asks you to join them for the March for Kids campaign. You will see them right there with their float. When you support Mercy Home's March for Kids, you help children grow into self-reliant and successful adults. They do so much for the community. They really do. And March for Kids is a huge fundraiser for them that happens during the month of March. So you have a chance to support them. Great organization, Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. Now Cork County Council. Yep, direct from Cork County, the most southern county in Ireland. And we've got delegates dressed in red, the color of their home county from Cork County, Ireland. They'll Presiding over traveling delegation is the mayor of the county of Cork, Councilor Franco Flynn, who we had just a few moments ago and here what on a the name. broadcast. <laughs> it's a great name, Franco Flynn. The mayor of the, is a native of Glanworth, Ireland, and brings extensive local government experience to his role. You know, this marks 25 years of the Cork County Council's partnership with Cook County government, and it was just renewed this week. Franco Flynn was telling us it's an ongoing bilateral trade, educational, and government exchange between the two counties, Cork and Cook. Hey, look at the Fredericktown High School marching band. Okay, I have to tell you something about the Fredericktown High School you marching go. band. I grew up close to Fredericktown, Ohio, and we played against them in sports and stuff, and I'll tell you, this is the hometown of Luke Perry. Really? Luke Perry, okay. there, he's from, he was from Fredericktown, Ohio. All right. and this is the Fredericktown Freddies High School marching band. They're a high-energy band that provides, that performs in parades and local events. It's nice to welcome them to Chicago. Welcome to Chicago and hope you're enjoying the parade. They've been all over the country, Orlando, Memphis, and Pittsburgh performing. They have 96 members strong from Fredericktown, Ohio. and they were the Fredericktown Freddies. That's quite a rivalry there. Yeah, it was you a great, going. great, great, All right. great team. Well, yes. here's the McDonald clan in honor of James McDonald, who came from 
County Mayo in 1960 with his wife Edna. The Klan has been marching in the parade for more than 30 years, with some members having marched for more than 50 years. And they're marching alongside a vintage 1931 Ford Model A truck. Once again, the families are so strong, the Irish families. All have their Irish sweaters on as well. Did Love. we see the truck? Love oh, there it is. Babies. Love that vehicle. Look at okay, that. Okay, now they're doing gymnastics down the street as well. Oh, 1934 yeah, right. Model A. Okay. Oh, look at that. Way to go, gals. Yeah, that'll get you tired. <laughs> I wonder if they do that all the way down the parade <laughs> <Right>. route. <laughs> Shelby County High School Band is joining us today all the way from Columbiana, Alabama. This is a once-in-a-lifetime event for all of those students who wish everyone a very happy St. Patrick's Day. And here they are to perform for us. Let's listen. dancing in the crowd, which is so nice. I know, we can't help but move We're kind of bouncing around right up there. here yeah. in our group, yeah. <laughs> it's so fun to hear the bands play, and as we were talking about, they play so many different varieties of music and songs. It's so fun to listen to all the different marching bands. St. Patrick's Day yeah. Parade with temperatures in the 50s. Remember 2012? It was in the 80s. We had nine days in a row oh, wow. in the 80s in March, and one of those days happened to fall in the St. Patrick's Day Parade, which was by far the warmest St. Patrick's Day Parade we've ever seen. Well, Larry, I do remember the minus 20 or whatever it was. <laughs> the wind chill. Uh, yeah. yeah. That was a, a cold years ago, one. That okay. was really cold. Yes, yes. All right, who do we have down here now, Karen? It's the Teamsters. Uh, local 710. Yeah, Teamsters Local, local 710 is a labor union representing more than 13,000 workers across the Midwest, covering industries including freight, UPS, warehouse, clerical, and drivers. They ensure that workers are protected, respected, and have a strong voice in their workplace. And I found another leprechaun. Oh, that, oh I'm all about one. leprechauns today. Yes, oh. you are. You're on the lookout for them. <laughs> Is. That's a leprechaun. Yep. yep. I'm looking for the pot of gold. Let me know when you find it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Love the outfits, you guys. <laughs> Love it. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh-oh, a little dance for us. Again, everybody, you are watching live coverage right here on ABC7 of the 69th Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. Just an iconic event here. Really a celebration that's citywide in welcoming spring. And it really, we've been talking about the weather, it really does feel like spring down here. Such a beautiful day here down Columbus Drive. A wonderful parade and all of the crowds who come out and support this parade. And another big shout out to all of our staff and volunteers for pulling all of this together. It's just fantastic. And you know, Judy, a lot of people will be enjoying a, maybe a pint today on St. Patrick's yeah. Day. And do you know that, <laughs> that Guinness, there are 10 million glasses of Guinness drunk every day, every day around oh, the world. Not just on St. Patrick's Day. Not just huh? on St. Patrick's Probably more than that on St. Patrick's Day, that's for sure. 10 million glasses. Don't they call it mother's milk? So you, you, you need a little bit of it that's every right. day. Yes. Excitement 
here down the parade road. So many groups with the bagpipes. It's so wonderful to watch them perform as they come down the parade route with the drums and the bagpipes. And Judy, you were talking about you had the opportunity to play bagpipes before. Well, I, I tried. Tried. Yeah, it was, Gave it, it a was go. An Gave it the college try. <laughs> it was an attempt, um, and it is quite hard. So kudos to all of those bagpipe players who are joining us. All right, we're going to head back down. Liz Nagy along the parade route. Hi, Liz. Hi, Judy. Well, you guys have been educating everybody about the parade up there. We've been having a blast down here along the parade route. I've been picking up some swag from all of the people going by. These ladies are here from Los Angeles just for St. Patrick's Day, right? right. Yes. So what do you think? <laughs> oh, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Like, we're so used to, like, the super nice weather. This, like, kind of chill has been absolutely short break. We're back with more of the St. Patrick's Day Parade right after this. Did you know about 25 million children in the U.S. grow up fatherless? These kids are more likely to drop out of school, 20 times more likely to end up in prison, and 50 to 100 percent more likely to be addicted to drugs. I'm attorney Jeffrey Loving. Our elite team of lawyers focus on protecting fathers' rights. Call me for help if you're a dad struggling with divorce, child support, or visitation. To learn more about your rights, call 312-356-DADS and visit dadsrights.com. In the race for state's attorney, politics as usual or the change we need? Clayton Harris is a political insider. He's an anti-union corporate lobbyist who led efforts against fair wages and workers' rights. Eileen O'Neill Burke is a former prosecutor and judge. She'll stem the flow of illegal guns and seek jail time for gun crimes. She's running for state's attorney because she's committed to real change that makes us safer. Democrat Eileen O'Neill Burke, the change we need. Save big on new floors with Empire Today's buy one, get two free sale. Buy floors for one room and get carpet, hardwood, vinyl, and laminate for two more rooms free when you pay for padding and installation. Empire makes flooring easy. See samples in your home, get a free estimate during your appointment, and your floors will be professionally installed. Don't miss Empire's buy one, get two free sale. Schedule now. 800-588-2300. Empire. Today. Save money with Oxford Auto Insurance. Bad credit, accidents, tickets. We, we cover, cover all drivers. drivers. We offer payments as low as $23 a month. We partner with over 15 companies to find you the lowest rates. And we are your SR22 experts. For quality auto insurance at the best rates. Buy online 24-7. Or come into one of our 50 Chicagoland locations where you can speak to one of our licensed agents. Oxford Auto Insurance, a Chicagoland company since 1945. Welcome back, everybody, to our continuing live coverage right here on ABC7 or wherever you are streaming us as we continue to celebrate St. Patrick's Day right here in Chicago's Grant Park. And that's the Marion Catholic High School Band. And I was wondering if people are streaming us maybe in Ireland right now. Ooh. Maybe we're watching us around the world streaming. Well, hello to you yes. as well. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. And we're so happy you could join us on this amazing day for the St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Chicago. Uh, a tradition unlike anything else here in Chicago. One of the, my favorite days of this, the year here in the city with the dying of the river and the wonderful parade down the street. Hey, it is said that no one does St. Patty's Day like Chicago does, so this is why. We have W.E. O'Neill Construction, who was established in 1925 by William O'Neill after his time working at the architectural firm Daniel Burham. Uh, he's a proud employee-owned Chicago-based national construction company. This is the company's seventh year participating in the Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. And of course, we all know Daniel Burnham, the legacy he left for the city. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They did a lot of uh, notable projects here in uh, Chicago. Millennium Park's Crown Fountain, the London House Hotel, Block 37, Children's Memorial Hospital redevelopment now called Lincoln Common. Okay, it looks like they've been partying on that, uh, <laughs> yeah. on that flow for quite a while Maybe now, they had think? some of that Guinness that I'm we were talking thinking, about. I'm thinking. <laughs> I mean, they can build anything, yeah. so. <laughs> Day's just getting started with that. What's great is, you know, they 
they had to start down at the start of the parade, probably around 11 o'clock yes. this morning, Look, 10 30 this running. morning, so they're finally getting up here. Did you see Liz awesome. running alongside of them? Awesome. Well, hello. Oh, hello oh, oh my gosh, oh, you are adorable. Oh, so cute. Let's pause on that little guy just for a second. You, my dear, <laughs> are adorable. Little puppy. Puppies, look at it. All right, so this is the Shalala Club of Chicago, proudly celebrating the 36th year marching in the Chicago St. Patrick's Day Parade. You guys are awesome. They are a north side social and charitable organization. Their motto is, on St. Patrick's Day, here is to all who are Irish and all who wish they were, and that should take care about just everyone. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. We're all Irish today, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. So I cute. I love everybody who has Look at the dog's here. outfit. That's so wonderful. Oh, another marching band coming down. You guys are terrific. The Thomas County. Looking great. I can't believe it is almost time. Central High School time. Marching Band, yes. You guys, I cannot believe it is almost time for us to say goodbye as we look at that marching band. Two hours flew by just like that when you're having fun. Incredible. So many wonderful sights and sounds. I, I love all the bands. It's such a wonderful time to see them. I love the music. Karen, what did you like best? Well, it's hard to pick. Uh, I mean, I love the bands. Of course, the plumbers. How could I not? And I love the, the soul rescue. The animals. Yes. I love the babies all dressed up. Yeah. We're going to check in with Liz down on the parade route one more time as well. Hi, Liz. Hold on. Let me run over to the camera here. We're having a blast talking to people along the parade route. This has been absolutely wonderful. Beautiful weather. Fantastic energy and as people head out to celebrate St. Patrick's Day for the rest of the day have fun be safe and remember mental health is essential so protect yourself that is of course the theme of this 69th annual St. Patrick's Day parade Judy and Larry thank you Liz absolutely Liz thank you very much we got to thank everyone involved here who put this parade on for our television broadcast all of our crew our staff our our producers all helping us out today thank you so much for all the work you do big shout out to the Chicago Police Department Office of Special Events Streets and Sanitation everybody involved in getting us all together and ready for this day and a shout out to the plumbers local 130 and the parade committee for staging the parade and dying the river river especially Jim Coyne and Michelle's skate coast <laughs> I know Michelle so well, and all of a sudden I can't say her name. Yeah. Stacia Coyne. And for all of us here at ABC7, happy St. Happy Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day! Day. Every day, 